Hey, welcome back, folks. Silver Goldman here, aka Connecting Dots 2, Connecting Dots 3, and formerly Connecting Dots 1, up until the year 2012, when all the censorship began, the deleting of comments, the blocking, the banning, and we're right back where this all began, except now it's to a new level now. Now it's threatening. So I'm going to play for you a small snippet of a live Google cast that went out here this evening and I'm going to give you my five cents on what's going down and the nonsense of who the real cowards are on YouTube and how this all comes down to what I was saying since the very beginning if you've been listening to my shows I was saying folks censorship major censorship here okay without digressing too much let's just listen to this that's the only option you got. And you got enough of you, you'll put an end to them. These are cowards. These are cowards. These are cowards. Like, I have to hide away. Like, like connecting dots. Silver gold man. Got to hide away. And put the same video up on multiple sites to dominate your name in a search and character assassinate you. You're fucking done. We're coming for you, man. Connecting dots, send me send me your donations so we can route him out, get a lawyer, get a private investigator. I want everything on this fucker. Every connection that he's ever got out there, I'm going to connect the dots for you. Like you can't even imagine. That's what I do. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, let's just start right from the beginning here for just one second. That's the only option you got. And you got enough of you. So the only option he has is to send people after us, when in fact that's not true. All I've asked is for him to step up to the plate and have a debate. And you know what's on? And this is all caught on video too. Uh, as I was filming his live show, that, that segment that you just watched, I asked him, I decided I would ask him, I'd send him out an invitation using the Google Plus, and guess what? Beautiful girl by Dana. This is this twit that you were just listening to a second ago here. This guy, yeah. Guess what? He deleted his Google Plus account. No, YouTube didn't close it down on him. His YouTube channel is still there. He deleted the YouTube Google Plus because I was inviting him to debate. This is what many of you are catching on here. These people are full of shit. So I told them, and I've, I've, I've told other people, and I've said it in my video, I don't, I'll, I'll debate him. Forget about the $3,000. Obviously, he has no money, the guy. Let's just debate. And if you guys are wondering what this debate's all about, I mean, this is where it gets really crazy. This guy's making the Fukushima videos, okay? And I want to debate over... Well, believe it or not, the reactors, the guy doesn't know where the darn floors are in these uh, Mark I General Electric. Uh, again, I'm sorry to, to get in this topic many of you don't listen to, but this type of nuclear ra reactor that went over in Fukushima, it's considered the worst model in the world. Okay, no doubt about that. It is a piece of garbage. Uh, and there was MOX fuel loaded on the top of the third floor uh, of reactor number three. But what's important is the bullshit that the guy spewing out telling everyone that the fuel pools sat on the fourth and fifth floor. There was no fourth and fifth floor. There were the walls on the side here of the fourth and the fifth floor had walls with a roof on top. But the pools are still intact there and he has lots of pictures. I'm sure he already knows this. So I decided, you know what, enough with the fraud. Let's debate. And this is something you can go watch his old videos. I'm not making this up. This clown has been using the world, the word, sorry, debate ever since the beginning. These videos are only two months old. Go listen to them. Every single video. I know you'll get bored. These are long videos. And it's, uh, anyways, long story short, if you listen to it, you'll see what I mean. He always says debate. So my big problem is I live right here on the West Coast, and he's been telling everyone that the Fukushima killed the Canadian <sighs> Tidal pools. Absolutely false, folks. Absolutely false. 110% false. Wrong. I went down there with my video camera. I captured lots of life. He told people that he went driving around on, a, on the west coast here, on the Sunshine Coast, okay? 
some one of the most beautiful places in the world. You guys don't know this, but it's beautiful. It is not called a Sunshine Coast for nothing. It's beautiful, sunny, lots of sea life. A, a girl that actually lives on that coastline. After she saw his video telling people that the missing, the, the, the muscles were missing and everything was missing, she went on a boat with her, fa uh, with her father, her mother, and her uh, husband and, and daughter, went out there and filmed just a little bit out when they were going out for a tour. Th there was seals, muscles. Uh, he was telling people that the solar do sand dollars had vanished. There was no more sand dollars left on the West Coast. She pulled into a bay. There must have been thousands of these sand dollars. Crabs galore. Even when I went down to my little busy inlet here, uh, you know, I live right in the city, and the sea's right there. Uh, there's a lot of houseboats and whatnot. Anyways, l ferries, a lot of traffic. I showed there was lots of sea life. He doesn't want to debate. As you heard, he's going to hunt me down. He's going to hire a lawyer. And he actually wants the people to, to, to send him donations for this. This is what's really sad. So this clown here, Dana, Dana Dernford the coward, because I call him a coward. Same with everyone I've been busting in the Silver Goldman YouTube channel. They're cowards. Step on up and debate. Well, what's interesting is Dana Dernford was betrayed by this guy. This is why Dana's mad here, because I actually have the proof I was sent the emails from this gentleman before he passed away. Okay, that's why I wrote in memory of Jeff Palco. Because Jeff took his life here on December 24th, okay, folks, over this whole incident because he'd realized he'd been defrauded. He doesn't live near the ocean, okay? He lives out in, he's a prairie guy, a landlubber. He knows nothing about the ocean. And unfortunately, he fell for the bullshit. This guy, Dane of Durnford, has been taking these pictures of the coastline where there's nothing but rock and telling people it's all dead. For Christ's sake, the whole damn coastline almost. I, I, there's so many bays that look like that. It's sad, folks. I, 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 I don't want to get upset at him. I just want him to come and debate, and he won't. So he just got back from another nine-day trek. I don't know where he's getting the money because I don't see any bozos that, that listen to his show would actually go for this stuff. And unfortunately, you know, I have to admit, Jeff fell for it. But, oh, geez, why does this keep doing that? Long story short, though, Jeff was on medication, folks. You have to understand, he wasn't playing with a clear mind in the first place, okay? They all know that, by the way. He was on strong painkillers every day. He was actually, you know, he wasn't dying. He took his own life here. He wasn't going to die anytime soon. He just couldn't go back to work anymore. So he was on strong painkillers because of the pain. These sons of bitches caught on to that, and they suckered the money right out of him. I was in contact with Jeff. Jeff sent me a whole bunch of information. You just saw the video. Jeff made them. Top news flash, betrayed by Kevin Blanche and Dana Dernford. They wouldn't even answer his emails. I have the checks. I The boat that he's running around, there's a $16,500 loan that Jeff Palco Aleen, he took out on his house. Okay? That's how much this guy was betrayed by these scammers. Kevin Blanche, he received $18,500. Read the email, hit the space bar, read it. Jeff is looking for his money, his investment fund. It wasn't money given away. These guys defrauded him. Okay, I have the checks. I have the paper from the bank. They don't want to debate. They want to what? Expose my name and put all my information online. My name is like a John Smith. People don't give a shit about names on YouTube. They, pre they prefer information with proof. These guys have nothing but their bloody faces, and I'm sitting all the proof and all they care about is my face, Houston, we got a problem here, okay? We need to get rid of this shit, honestly, folks. Or we're going to be stuck with these kinds of bullies forever. Listen to this crap. That's the only option you got. And you got enough of you, you'll put an end to them. These are cowards. These are cowards. These are cowards that have to hide away. Like, like connecting dots. Silver Goldman, got to hide away. And put the same video up on multiple sites to dominate your name in a search and character assassinate you. You're fucking done. We're coming for you, man. Connecting dots. Send me, send me your donations. Wants donation. Come down and get me. You're the coward.
Dana Durnford, 